take things for granted Even the privilege of prayer When I am drowning in life's troubled waters I count on you, Lord, to be there I know I'm not worthy of your love I always fall short, try as I may. And thank you for judging my heart, not my words, Lord. I love you, and I want to say thank you, Jesus, for loving a sinner like me. Sending your son with the word of salvation For suffering till death on Calvary for me And for taking my sins again and again The many times I've gone astray For helping me cope and giving me hope the guidance that I need to get to each day will keep me hope and helping me cope and the guidance that I need to get to each day Just to get to each day Well, thank you once again for listening to that song, and uh, I guess, you know, who better can you thank than Jesus? I mean, he, he made it possible for us to have life, you know, uh, and we're from a long string of the first Adam, you know, who multiplied and filled the earth through the process of time and birth, you know, and uh, that song... Uh, you know, thank you, Jesus. And basically, it's talking once again about what Jesus did for us, how he, he was the ultimate sacrifice, the ransom sacrifice for us. I mean, he died when he didn't have to die. I mean, he could have called on his Father and just ascended back to heaven, but then again, his purpose for coming to earth would have been defeated, you know, because he come here to be the ultimate sin sacrifice and Without him, before all there was was animal sacrifices to atone. And they only was for a certain period of time uh, when Jesus, you know, forgave us, when his blood was the redemption for all his sins. I mean, it was finished, like he said. In his last moments on the cross, it is finished. That means he, that finished, you know, covered everything. That blood covered every sin, every sickness, you know, the 39 stripes he took on his back represented the 39 different diseases, the major parts of them. So basically, that whipping he took for us, you know, because he loved us, that agape love, you know, that, that love that we is unmerited, we can't earn it, we can't buy it. it. It's a father's love, like the father gives us. He gives us a love we don't deserve, but he gives it because he loves us in a special way. And where he is no respecter of men, God loves everybody equally in his own way. He loves, you know, those, he will not do for Larry what he won't do for someone else, you know. Especially if you call upon him, call upon his name. And that's their song. It's just, uh, it's just one of them songs thanking Jesus, you know. What a, what a greater homage, thanking the Lord for, for being there for us, for giving us a dream, uh, letting us live the dream giving us the desires of our heart and so many things, uh, helping us to excel in the things that we desire and maybe guiding us away from some of the wrong choices and teaching us from the wrong choices we make. So that's just another great song. Thank you, Jesus, you know. Uh, what more appropriate words? Thank you, Jesus. And I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the song I sang there, and I, I didn't... T I, I probably didn't mention that it was, again, written by my mother, Irene, another another great gospel song, and again, recorded by in Jim Hale's studio with him playing the beautiful 
pedal steel and everything on it, you know. And that, you know, like uh, Hannibal says on uh, the A-Team, I love it when a plan comes together. A little TV humor there for you. But, uh, I'd like to thank you once again for listening to that song and hope you will maybe purchase it if it's in any of your stores, maybe your Target stores or whatever they, wherever they may be marketing it. And just listen to the song in its entirety, and I know you'll appreciate it even more. It may even move you. And there is a definite anointing on these songs, these gospel ones especially. So you're bound to get touched by the Lord if you truly are a prolific and a good Christian and serving God. It's going to come to you. So thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of the story behind the song by yours truly, Larry Elliott, saying God bless you and have a great day. <laughs>